Hi! In this video, we're going to learn about the world Tracy lives in. Let's get started. Now we know that Tracy can follow our commands if we give them to her in a specific way, but what do we know about the world Tracy lives in? Well, Tracy lives in a grid world, where an X and Y axis determine where we can move her. Tracy always starts at her home, which is at the very center of our canvas at coordinate point zero, zero. The X axis of Tracy's world goes from negative 200 to positive 200, and so does the Y axis. This means that the top left corner has the coordinate negative 200, 200. The bottom left corner has the coordinate negative 200, negative 200. The top right corner has the coordinate 200, 200. And the bottom right corner has the coordinate 200, negative 200. So how wide is the total canvas? If our x-axis goes from negative 200 to positive 200, that means the width is 400 pixels long. And this is the same for the height of our canvas. It is important to know that Tracy lives in a 400 by 400 grid world. We've learned how to use two commands already, the forward and circle commands, but Tracy knows how to do more than that. In the same way that we can move Tracy using the forward command, if you tell her backward, she will move in reverse the distance that you have entered in the parentheses. We also have some commands to control the trail that Tracy leaves as she moves. If we call the pen up command before telling Tracy to move, she will not leave a trail behind her. If we then want her to start leaving a trail after we've used the pen up command, we can use pen down to have her start drawing a trail. An important thing to note is that Tracy's default is to draw a line when she moves, so you do not need to use the pen down command when you first move her if you want her to leave a trail. We can more immediately move Tracy around the grid world by using the set position command, which will have Tracy move directly to that spot in a straight line. If you have not called the pen up command before using this command, she will leave a trail as she goes from her current position to the position you have called. You will notice that the direction Tracy is facing does not change when you set her position. So if she was facing right before the command was called, she will still be facing right after moving. The go to command works exactly the same as the set position command, so feel free to use whichever command you feel more comfortable with to send Tracy directly to a coordinate point. The same way we can use the set position or go to commands to send Tracy to a specific x, y coordinate, we can use the set x or set y command to change only the x or y coordinate of Tracy's location. This means that if Tracy started at the center of her world, coordinate 0, 0, and we called the set x command with 100 as the given coordinate location, she would move forward to position 100, 0. Her y coordinate would be unchanged. If Tracy started at the center of her world and we called the set y command with 100 as the given coordinate location, Tracy would end at position 0, 100, meaning that only her y coordinate changed while her x coordinate stayed the same. In this lesson, we learned about the grid world Tracy lives in and how to use the backward, pen up and pen down, set position, go to, and set x and set y commands.